as you're probably already aware, um, cloud computing is quite a big uh, industry now, especially with um, the rise of sort of Google and um, things like Stadia becoming like a new thing where things are being streamed from the cloud. Um, cloud computing, uh, in terms of uh, being used for a lot of different platforms and businesses, it's becoming more and more um, a, a commonplace now for it to be used. Um, there was a little bit of a stigma attached to it when it first came out, just because um, it's it was in its early stages, and obviously when things are in the early stages, people don't tend to use them because there's a lot of problems with them. But because obviously there are security risks um, associated with this, um, it, the, there can be a lot of different issues depending on how you look at it. So companies obviously will use these now to store their data off-site and you, know, you can access it anywhere. Um, and obviously that's great because in terms of being flexible, um, say like with us, we can work from home or we can work um, at the college. It depends on uh, you know how, how you want to do it, but essentially it gives you that freedom and flexibility to do it. However, because you were using like a third party such as Google, um, you could have multiple businesses running on it or um, schools or whatever. Now the thing is, because they might share the same server space um, as another company, you've got to be careful on how you handle people's data. Because the thing is, if by pure mistake um, one company could access another company's like business records or something like that, if they're storing them on the cloud computing um, company that they're with, then obviously that would be a breach of data for one company. <laughs> And the other company potentially could have a competitive edge if it was something like, I don't know, PlayStation and Xbox. Um, if they were, obviously they're competing against each other, so if they found some of their data by pure coincidence that they're using the same online service, I'm not saying that they do, um, you know, that would be in breach of contract for one company, and the other company could also use it as a competitive edge. So for cloud computing companies, it brings a lot of different security risks because if somebody was to hack into a business as well, so hack into a, the cloud computing company, um, they could get several businesses worth of data. Um, they've got to be incredibly, incredibly careful um, when using computing, uh, cloud computing for stuff like that, because um, it can bring all sorts of problems. So, yeah, it's very good for being flexible and you can use it anywhere with an internet connection, but obviously it brings a lot of security risks as well, because you're storing it off-site with a third party, so... Yeah, they take all the risks for you, but do you trust them? This is the thing. So, one thing that um, is now being used more and more, especially with cloud computing, is um, virtualized computers, so virtual PCs, virtual machines. Um, you've, some of you may have heard of virtual machines before. Um, for those of you who haven't, essentially servers can run computers within them, so you can use them... Uh, somewhere else. Um, a good example would be um, uh, Stadia. So if anybody knows what Google Stadia is, Google Stadia is um, a gaming platform where you can connect via your phone, uh, laptop, um, game device, you know, uh, computer, whatever, and you can connect to their service and they will run a virtualized machine where you can play a game on it. Um, it's a good idea. So obviously different clients can connect to the same server and the server can run these like computers, these virtual computers coming out of it. Um, the other problem with that is obviously it adds an extra layer of complexity because you could be working off a virtual machine but the virtual machine might have issues with it now if it's got issues with it it means that potentially somebody could hack in that way but it might mean that they can hack into a server and disrupt everybody else's virtual machines as well so um it, it's difficult when you're talking about server virtualization because if you use virtual machines to give to your clients it could add like a whole new 
layer of complexity in terms of vulnerabilities. So it can be a, a huge risk. Um, I'm not going to read out the server virtualization. You can read that uh, for yourself because that's that is in the book, um, and I'll just put it in there just in case anybody does want to read it. Um, obviously, you can either pause the video or look at the notes direct, but that's basically uh, cloud computing risks.